Lynn in Pennsylvania writes to me, Good evening, Paul. Well, good evening, Lynn. I am confused <laughs> when someone says that speakers disappear when set up correctly. If they disappear, does everything sound like a mono sound? Stereo being left and right channels, wouldn't you hear different sounds out of one or the other speaker? Thus having a sense that the speaker's location is here and there. I just don't understand how speakers can disappear. In my humble system, in my living room setting, I am not getting that. Well, they can disappear, yes. Oh, by the way, as you always ask, what's, what's Paul standing next to? This is the side of our new subwoofer. Isn't this cool? Chris has just built this. There's a big, massive woofer in here. This is really cool. You will be seeing this in 2025. It's, uh, it's a 12 inch, it's, you know, I think we've got like 2,400 watts or something in it, beautiful. Okay, speakers disappearing. I know it's a hard concept to, to wrap our heads around because you're looking at the speakers. You know they are generating the sound. And yes, the left speaker makes sound that comes from the left and the right speaker makes sound coming from the right. And when we close our eyes, we can pinpoint left and right unless we have everything set up correctly and we have the right electronics on it. When you have that combination and you're sitting, let's say, in our listening lab or my living room at home, you can close your eyes and you cannot point the source of sound. Can you point left and right? Absolutely. You hear things to the left, you hear things to the right, you hear things in the middle, you hear depth that goes from front to back. Everything appears from behind the loudspeakers. And that illusion, that soundstage illusion, it's really uncanny. And until people, I mean, all the time we bring people in here and we sit them down and, and people have no idea even what we're doing. And one of the things I'll, I'll tell them at first is, I want you to just close your eyes and listen and notice how no sound is coming from the speakers. And of course, intellectually, that is not, we know that's not true, but they do and it does not come from that. So all of this is a combination of getting the speakers set up correctly, something that we cover in the audiophiles guide and tell you how to set them up so that they don't do it. And you have to have the right speakers. Not every speaker will disappear. Some are very pinpointy and there are ways around it. If you, if you have something with the uh, on axis response is, is very different than the off axis response, that's where you're gonna wanna point them in like this. If, if it's proper, even spread between on axis and off axis, and I show you how to figure that out, in the audio files guide, um, you uh, set them up very differently. You point them straight ahead, tow them in just a little bit. Anyway, I go through all of that stuff, but just trust me, from even a, a, a pair of these ELAC thing, I think, what do we sell them for? 350 bucks for the pair? Um, to a pair of a beautiful Aspen FR5s, which are more, they're 3,500 a pair, they completely disappear. And that's a lot to do with setup and electronics. So yeah, I, 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 again, just using words, really hard to explain how and why, but trust me, it happens.